Hello guys, I'm today back with a new subject. The name is Elementary Science. To get all the video of BGS subject, you can subscribe my channel and go to my challenge channel. And then you will find all the 12th chapter of BGS uh, with all discussion. Okay guys, now I will start chapter 1 of Elementary Science. Hope you will uh, get my point. Okay guys, uh, on chapter 1 is our environment and so uh, we can easily get that from the name of this chapter. This chapter is about the environment of the world. Okay, um, okay so lesson 1, I, I think it's lesson, lesson 1, relationship between living and non-living things. All the things in the environment can be classified into living things and non-living things. People, animals and plants are living things. Soil, water, air, cars, chairs, etc. are non-living things. Okay, so in uh, this lesson has taught us about the... Uh, introduced us about living things and non-living things. All the things in the environment can be classified into... Uh, two groups which are living and non-living things I think you know what's living and non-living things you learned it in previous classes uh, but I'm telling <laughs> living things are the things which has life and can move and non-living things are the things which doesn't have life or cannot move or cannot absorb anything or, or cannot consume anything okay <clears throat> okay guys, uh, I will not uh, discuss any of these activities because these things are not important for your PEC exam. So I will just discuss with you all the this text. Okay, so I will now go to page 3. Okay guys, now I am in page number 3 and uh, let's start. Summary. Human. Human depend on non-living things. They need air to breathe water to drink and food to get nutrition for survival. They also use soil for growing crops and land to build their shelter. However, humans need shelter, furniture, clothes, appliances, etc. to live. Other animals. Other animals also depend on non-living things for survival. Animals need wa air, water and food to live. They use soil and water as habitat. Some animals like insect or earthworm live in soil. Some such as fish or prawn live in water. Plants. Plants depend on non-living things to survive in their environment. Plants use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide from the air to make their own food. Plants such as water lily and water hyacinth also use water as habitat. Living things depend on non-living things for survival in the environment. All living and non-living things that exist and in interact in one place is called an ecosystem. Okay guys, so uh, here some important living things are being described. First of all, human. Human depends, human is a living thing and it depends on non-living thing. Depend means without non-living thing, a human depends on non-living thing means that human cannot live without non-living things. I think you know why. Because they need air to breathe and air is a non-living thing. They also need water to drink. Water is a non-living thing. They get food, they eat food to get nutrition for survival and food is also a non-living thing. They also use soil for growing crops and land to build their shelter and we also know soil is also a non-living thing. So we can say that human depend on non-living thing. Okay, now let's talk about other animals. Uh, okay, mainly this page is about uh, the dependence of living thing on non-living thing. Uh, the how do living things depend on non-living thing? Okay, human depends uh, like this. Okay, now other animals. Animals also depend on non-living things for survival, such as they need air, water, and food to live, which are all non-living things. They also use soil and water as habitat, which are also non-living things. Some animals like insect or earthworm live in soil, which is also a non-living thing. And fish and or prone live in water, which is also a non-living thing. 
okay now let's talk about plant plant also depend on non living thing such as they use sunlight water and carbon dioxide from air to make their own food which are all non living thing some plants such as water lily and water hyacinth also use water as a habitat living things depend on non living things for survival in the environment means that living thing depend on non living thing to survive to stay alive in the environment all living and non living things that exist and interact in one place is called the ecosystem okay guys this is an definition um, the def uh, the main thing is ecosystem the definition of ecosystem is all living and non living thing that exist and interact in one place is called an ecosystem got it good okay now let's i uh, will now go to page number 4 ha huh. <laughs> uh it's, it's about le- is now we are, all are starting lesson 2 it's mutual dependence between plants and animals <coughs> okay okay guys uh, this uh, lesson is about how plants depend on animals and animals depends on plants okay guys uh, in this page there is not much thing here is a picture to uh, show you that plants are depending on living thing and living things are Yeah, sorry animals and animals are depending on plants as you can see cow uh, i will give you one example from this, from this picture that the cow is a living thing and uh, he is taking the oxygen from the air uh, from the tree it's right but it's coming through the air right so and air is also a yes not living i think you get my point okay and also uh, i'm telling another example that here you can see the trees the trees are getting energy from the air of this um see, uh, air of the of the lands and also the sunlight see here uh, there's a sun right yeah from this okay let's go to page 5 this is about the dependence the plant and animal depend on each other in the environment animal animals depend on plants in many ways animals use oxygen use the oxygen given off by plants animals eat various parts of plants such as stems leaves fruit to get energy plants are also used as shelter by the animals several animals like monkey squirrel and insect use plants for their shelter birds make their nest on trees human beings also use plants to make their houses plants Plants depend on animals for making food, pollination and seed dispersal. Plants use carbon dioxide given off by plants to make food. Plants depend on animals for nutrition too. When animals die, the dead remains become fertilizer in the soil. Plants use the fertilizer as nutrition to grow. Through, through pollination, plants make seeds. New plants grow from this seed. Animals such as bird, bees, help plants in the pollination seed dispersal means the transport of seed away from the parent plant seed dispersal help plants to create new colonies like these plants and animal depend on each other in the environment okay guys so let's discuss uh, first we will talking about animals how they dis- uh, depend on plants you can see animals depend on plants in many ways animals use oxygen and oxygen is given off by plant so in this way animal is depending on plant to for breathing animals also eat various type of uh, various part of plants such as stems sorry guys stems leaves and several uh, other parts for getting energy plants are also used as shelter by animals several as you know that uh, animals like monkey squirrel and birds and insects uh, use plant for their shelter and uh, make uh, shelter means make plant as their house like you can see plants make uh, sorry birds make nest on the trees okay now let's learn how plants depend on animals plants depend on 
animal for making food pollination and seed dispersal okay so there's two things we should discuss one is pollination and one is seed dispersal okay guys pollination here's an example of pollination pollination means mainly pollination if uh, okay I'm giving one example do you ever have you ever seen bees um, sitting on the uh, on flowers and taking some uh, taking honey I think you have when uh, when an insect actually when an, uh, okay sorry guys now I'm, uh, when an insect travel from one flower to another flower to take bees when uh, it's like when one bee sit in one flower and take some honey and goes in another another flower the bee the honey taken from the other flower gets uh, it gets stuck or uh, it uh, what do i say mane lege jay ar ki ar oi je plant ta matro bosheche sei plant er moddhe lege jay a type of this and its definition is uh, the transfer of pollen from one plant to another okay seed dispersal the definition of seed dispersal is transportation of seeds away from parent plant okay let's discuss this i think it's hard to understand uh, the when a uh, parent plant first uh, this said was parent plant parent plant okay uh, first there as you know plant from plants leaves um, uh, fruits flowers and fruits uh, glow, grow right from plants first the flower grows from that flower the and that flower from that flower the seed grows and from the seed the seed is covered by the fruit fruits when the uh, when from the fruits and that plant is called the parent plant and when from the plants the seed fall down and gets away from the this fall down means that uh, it's getting away from the plant okay when that seed gets away from the parent plant from that plant from where it growed this is called the seed dispersal okay and this seed dispersal help plant to create new colonies for them i hope you understand if you don't then go write in the comment box let's go to page number 6 okay guys okay uh, here is another lesson it's lesson 3 energy flow living thing need energy for survival plants get energy from the sun and An uh, animal gets energy from food okay as you know i'm not going to discuss the activity you should read it at home and this is not important for your pe okay summary food chain all animals directly or indirectly depend on plants for their energy a plant produces its own food using the energy of Sun, the sunlight and insect eats it's the plant and a frog eats the insect in the same process the frog is eaten by a snake and then the snake is eaten by an eagle like this energy is passed from plants to animal the path of food energy in an ecosystem from plants to animal is called food chain the food chain begins with the green plants grass grasshopper frog snake eagle food chain Oh, sorry food web food web in an ecosystem there are many food chains all the plants and animals are part of several food chains food chains for example a hawk may eat a mouse a squirrel a frog or some other animals the snake may eat a rabbit a rat or some other animal several food chains connecting together make a food web okay let's discuss first one is food chain all animals directly or indirectly depend on a plant for energy a plant produces its own food using the energy of sunlight as you know. an insect eat plant and a frog eats insect the frog also is eaten by a snake and then as the snake is eaten by eagle like this the energy is passed from a plant to a animal this process the this process is called a food chain the definition of food chain is the path of food energy is in an ecosystem from plants to animal is 
called food chain i think you understand what's food chain and it always begin with a green plant okay and from food chain comes a food web in an ecosystem there are lots of food chains all the uh, food change uh, food chains uh, get together and make a food web i, get, I hope you understand the chapter if you uh, if my lecture is important don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel for more uh, chapter and if you want to see the bgs uh, then you can check my channel so, uh, all the video of my channel okay guys bye i hope you will um, <coughs> finish the exercises assalamu alaikum